Hello, Scarreds, friends, foes, and innocent bywatchers. Some of you have probably seen the five part series of the Austrian Gandler. If you haven't, go there if you want to go into a deep dive and some crazy shit about the Austrian Gandler. For everyone else who doesn't have the time or doesn't want to look at me for such a long time, here's the executive summary for you. Granite launchers are forbidden, full auto guns are forbidden, belt fights are forbidden, flamethrowers are forbidden, pretty much everything that explodes when you shoot it is forbidden. Suppressors are only allowed for people who have a valid hunter's license. But you can mount the suppressors on every of your firearms. They are not limited to hunting rifles. There is an SBR rule. A rifle that's longer than 60 cm and gets shorter than 60 cm by collapsing or folding a stock and is still fully functional is forbidden. Everything shorter than 60 cm is classified a pistol. Everything that's semi-automatic and longer than 60 cm is classified as a semi-automatic rifle. There is a minimum length requirement for shotguns. Shotguns of any kind have to be at least 90 cm long. Pistols and semi-auto firearms require a gun license. To get a gun license, you have to be at least 21 years old, have done your military service if you're male. For the gun license, you have to do a psychological evaluation. A gun license allows you to have two semi-automatic firearms or pistols. After five years, you can expand it to be allowed to have five semi-automatic firearms. Following this scheme, you can get up to 10 semi-automatic firearms or pistols within a period of 20 years. You can get even more firearms and can get the firearms faster if you're doing shooting competitions. But this requires some good planning because you have to bring them shooting competition results that are all within a time frame of six months. There is a magazine capacity limit. It's 20 rounds for pistols and 10 rounds for rifles. If you are a competition shooter, you can apply to be allowed to own bigger magazines for individual firearms. General carry is almost impossible in Austria. Usually, these carry licenses are only given to members of the police force or to workers in a security company. You can carry at your own property as long as you don't offend anyone. If you're walking around your garden with an AR-15 and someone sees you and calls the police, you will probably lose your gun license, so better don't do that. If you're a store owner or you own a business, you can carry at the store or on the business property. You can also carry on an enclosed property if the owner gives you the permission to do so. But you have to have something like a written letter with you at all times if you carry at the property. Hunters are allowed to carry at the hunting grounds, but not outside the hunting grounds. So you can't go strapped to a supermarket and say, I was just hunting for good deals on toilet paper. Bolt action rifles, lever action rifles, and break open shotguns like double barrel, single barrel, drill barrel, whatever shotguns are category C firearms. You don't need a gun license for category C firearms, but if you don't have a gun license, you have a cooldown period. So you walk in the store, say, I want a category C firearm, you have to pay it and you're only allowed to pick it up three days later at the gun store. And that's the Austrian gun law in a nutshell. If you want more about the details and for example why pump action shotguns are forbidden in Austria, you can check the video series of the Austrian gun law I made for you guys. I'm pretty sure most of your questions will be answered in there. Oh, and if you want to support me, go to scarity.redbubble.com. I put some of my own designs up there that you can print on t-shirts, mugs, bathroom maps, pillows, and other crazy stuff like that. Well, until we meet again, guys. Bye!